For the presentation of today, I am going to introduce you to one of the Tudor age writer, Henry Howard, the Earl of Surrey. To kick it off at the beginning, we're going to start with his early life biography, which will give us the brief understanding of what he is as a person. Henry was born in 1517, Hunston, Herefordshire. In the year 1524, he earned the courtesy title of Earl of Surrey. He got married to Lady France de Vere in 1532 and joined the campaign in Scotland, France, Flanders a decade later. Sadly, his life ended at the age of 30 as his execution happened on the Tower Hill. In my opinion, I think he looked more like a mathematician than a poet. Moving into his contribution to the art of poetry, he was the first person to use sonnet in his work which was later popularized by Shakespeare. In the year 1587, his work Songs and Sonnets had contributed the idea of iambic pentameter to the English poetry. It was also the first one that put blank verse to use, which is metrical but no rhyme line. Henry has produced a lot of work throughout his life, but below's are two of my favorite work of his. The first one is to the lady that scorned her lover, and the second one is to his mistress. In the poem To the Lady Who Scorned Her Lover, the poem was told from the third person perspective as a message to the stereotype of critical lover. The tone of the poem is mockingly, dramatically, sarcastic, and persuasive. The audience that the poem aiming to is a common type of people which is publicly the stereotype of lover. The poem was written as the confession of a man to his mistress in the desire of respect. As much likely as the letter, the man revealed his feeling explicitly and commandingly. On to the second poem to his mistress, the eight-line poem was written from the perspective of a man to his lover fiancé, and the tone is basically enthusiastic, dramatic, and elusive. The audience of the poem is more of a general and common people type, but there's no confirmation about that because it could be a letter to his lover. For the last several work, just like many other authors, Henry Howard only claimed his fame after his death, which is a common thing between people who do art. 